How you doing? My name is Brian Zach. I'm here to talk to you about how I like to warm up before my gigs and my shows. Um, as you see here, I have um, a drum pad. It's the uh, Steve Smith backstage pad that they sell. It's like a uh, kind of uh, pretty cool device here. It, it, uh, it actually straps onto your leg and, um, you know, practice all your rudiments and all the exercises and just different uh, you know things you might be working on right here in in, uh, in your hotel room or in this case I'm on uh, I'm in a, a cabin inside of the Mariner of the Seas uh, Royal Caribbean's one of Royal Caribbean's cruise ships um, so I'm here actually performing with uh, a show uh, and a guy named Dominic Allen the show is called It's All About the Music. You should check it out. Uh, but anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk to you about. What I am here to talk to you about is uh, just, like I said, some of the uh, uh, ways I like to warm up for a show. First thing I like to do is um, I have my trusty metronome here. And I'll set my metronome to um, quarter note equals 135 beats per minute. Okay, so we'll get that going, and what I'll do is this, I'll do triplets on each hand, starting with the left, I'll go, and this just gets my hands moving, right, my left hand is just kind of doing this pumping action, it's actually called the molar stroke, right, so I'll just do this for about a minute straight, and then I'll switch to the right hand, Okay. Again, I'll do this for a minute straight. You know, and then I might do two hands together. Like this. For another minute or so. And then what I'll do is I'll I'll do sixteenth note triplets, just single stroke. So it'll be two, three, four. And I'm still using that motion that I was just using a moment ago with with each hand. I'm still using that pumping motion. I'm getting my hands, my fingers, my wrists, my arms. Everything is getting warmed up while I'm doing this. Right from there, I might switch to double strokes, 16th notes. Right? And then I'll switch to single strokes. Using a nice full motion, making sure to get a nice even sound between each hand. Back to double strokes. And I'll switch it back and forth. Like this. Alright, doubles, singles. Now I'll go to paradiddles. Okay, so that's right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And as you can see, I'm accenting the first note on the beat, right, and then I'll go, and I'll start messing around with the paradiddles and throwing the accents on different parts of the beat, back to the original, and then, and then I might go, You can hear what I'm doing. Just throwing the accents around different parts of the beat. Okay, still doing paradiddles all the way. Just paradiddles. Okay, now I'm doing sex couplets. And basically it's a six stroke roll. Um after that, I might do, uh, out of the stick control book, if you look on the first page of the stick control book, uh, I highly recommend uh, using that book for all your uh, rudimentary work and just getting your hands in shape. It's a great, great, great book that is totally, uh, I, just totally indispensable for me. 
And uh, the, the next exercise I like to do is just like a, it's a right, left, left, left. So uh, just right, left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left, 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 and it sounds like this. Okay, so I'm just doing like a triple stroke on my left hand. And then what I'll do is I'll mirror that. All right, starting with the left. And this gets my hands used to doing like multiple bounces. And a very fast, you know, rapid succession. Nice evenly, even strokes. And then I'll turn it around and go. So now I'm doing the the triplet, the uh, the triple stroke on the beat. Alright, and I'll do it with the right hand as well. And this does a great job with just warming my hands up before a show. Or just before a practice session or any, you know, any time I'm going to sit down and play the drums for any length of time, I like to do this kind of routine. It also helps just calm my brain a little bit, you know, if I have any kind of nerves before a show. Um, just kind of relaxes me, relaxes my mind, relaxes my muscles, just kind of, you know, sit here and almost enter like a trance-like state, it seems like. Right? So that's, that's that. Um, another exercise I'll do is, uh, going with those triplets that I was playing before with the single strokes, it's, uh, right, like this. Now what I'll do is, these are singles, right? I'll switch to doubles. Okay, and then back to singles. Okay, and then back to doubles. Singles. Now what I'll do is do the inverted double. All right, here we go. Ah. Here we go. Now I'm on the left side, doing the left single. All right, now I'm doing the left doing doubles starting on the left, triplets again. Back to singles. And then the inverted double again. So I'll just keep doing that. I'll hold that for as long as I feel like, really, you know, until my, until I feel like maybe, you know, I'm warm, I'm warming up, you know, I, I might even take a, a little breather after something like that because that's a lot of playing right there. So um, yeah, th those are just some of the ideas that I like to do, uh, you know, to warm up, to relax before a show, um, before a practice session, a long practice session that I might do. Um, you know, it's just very, very simple stuff that you can sit here and do on a drum pad, a pair of sticks, and a metronome. It's great to do it with the metronome. I, you know, I really recommend uh, practicing with the metronome. With you, you know, it's gonna help your time. It's real honest. You know, it'll keep you honest. You know, you know, you really can't fool that metronome. It's a machine. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, Tune in next time. I'll, uh, you know, hopefully I'll I'll be doing more of these lessons online, and uh, different ideas, things I I'm thinking of, and uh, exercises or you know, uh, just some some more information I'd like to share with you. So uh, definitely tune in. Thanks a lot. Keep practicing. Rock on, and I'll see you next time.